swing and a miss on the next pitch. It's one and two. So a first pitch strike, then a ball high. Now a swing and a miss, and Cade White is ahead on the count one and two against Landon Moore, the leadoff hitter for the 11 and one Willard Tigers. Moore fouls that one off to stay alive. Willard 11 and one coming in, and they have already played their first conference game. The Tigers were rained out against Ozark in what was supposed to be their COC opener, so this is it for the Tigers. And a called strike three. Down on strikes is Landon Moore. That's the first strikeout for Cade White. And Cameron Jennings, the pitcher, will stand in for Willard. Jennings, a right-handed batter. First pitch is chopped to the right side. Harrington has time to shovel it over to White covering. And that's an easy out. Jennings is retired. First two are gone, and Matthew Angel will bat now. Or Willard. Angel, another left-handed hitter, and he takes one outside just off the corner. One ball, no strikes to Matthew Angel. Angel, the shortstop for Willard. White trying to get a 1-2-3 inning here in the first. And he throws it right down the middle. Angel took it. And the count's even 1-1. One and one. Pitch from White is inside. It was tipped by Angel. He kind of checked his swing, and I think it hit the knob of his bat. So he walks away, and now he's behind on the count, one and two. White working out of the stretch, as he always does. One-two pitch on the way. He has a fastball high. Tried to get him to chase it up there. So that evens the count two and two. Next one to Matthew Angel on the way. And he flies it into center field. Lester drifts over to his right. Reaches up. Makes the catch. And that's a one, two, three first inning. For Cade White and the Tigers. We've played a half inning. No score. Tigers coming to bat. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnegar Advantage. Tough customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnegar Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnegar family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnegarChevrolet.com. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Heinz Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Heinz Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. 
Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Gary Lester to lead things off here in the first inning for Republic. It was a 1-2-3 top of the first. And Cameron Jennings delivers the first pitch to Garrett Lester. It's a fastball for a strike. Jennings, a big right-hander, works out of the windup. And the next pitch is a fastball low and away. Bounced up there in the dirt. One and one to Garrett Lester. Lester gets on base about 60% of the time he comes to the plate. It's been really remarkable to watch him work at the top of the lineup this year. He takes the curveball outside. Good eye by Lester to lay off that one. As Jennings tried to sneak it in the back door. And it's two and one. Long look at the sign. And here comes the next one from Jennings, and it's fouled off. In on the hands, Lester fought it off, and it's two balls, two strikes. And a swing and a foul back to the screen. Two to the count. Jennings delivers and a grounder to third. Two hops. Backhand play. Throw across low but out. As Moore makes the play and retires Garrett Lester. 5 3. Lester's gotten on base so much, it's almost kind of a surprise when he's retired. And he was retired that time. So one gone, and here comes Devin Hughes. Hughes, the hero in the championship game up at the tournament in Sedalia. He drove in four and scored four runs. So the Tigers scored 13 against Nevada. They won it 13-3, to three, and eight of the 13 runs accounted for by Devin Hughes. The first pitch to him is a fastball, and he swings and misses up around the shoulders, and he chased it. Takes that one for a strike. A breaking pitch caught the outside corner. And Hughes in the hole 0-2 as Trace Harrington waits on deck for Republic. This would be a big win to start conference play for Republic. And he laid off that one. That wasn't easy to take, but he did. And you can see him think about offering at it. One and two, and a hard hit ball down the line, and it's hooking foul. Hughes turned on that one.
batting with one out, nobody on, and he takes the ball. Two balls, two strikes now. And a swing and a miss. Hughes strikes out. First strike out of the game for Cameron Jennings. And the first two batters are gone here in the bottom of the first. And the first five hitters in the game have been retired by these two pitchers, Cade White and Cameron Jennings. Trace Harrington, the first baseman, will try to change that. Outfield plays Harrington pretty shallow. And a little bit the other way, just a shade. And that's a surprising positioning by the outfield. It would not be hard for, even with the wind blowing in as it is, for Harrington to burn that outfield. And he hits it right on cue over the head of the left fielder, and it goes to the fence. And that's going to be an easy double for Trace Harrington. Well, sometimes it's like I know what I'm talking about. The left fielder was way in, and Harrington roped it over his head all the way to the fence. So he's at second base with two outs. That's the first hit of the game. And Jackson Overstreet, batting in the cleanup spot now, comes to the plate with a chance to give the Tigers the lead. The wind is blowing basically straight in, maybe a little bit toward the third baseline, but not that hard. And Harrington, with the power he has, didn't have any problem hitting it over the head of the left fielder there. And the first pitch to Overstreet from Cameron Jennings is a ball. It's 1-0. and Tigers travel to Webb City on Thursday. And a strike on a fastball to Overstreet. One ball, one strike. Harrington with a good lead. There's a chopper to third. Easy hop. And a good throw across, and that retires the side. So Harrington doubles with two outs, but he's retired, or uh, he's uh, stranded as Overstreet is retired 5-3. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a runner left on base. We go to the second inning. No score in Republic. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Four, five, and six hitters do up for Willard in the top of the second inning. Levi Hilton, Hayden Rakestraw, and Cade Hyder. White set Willard down in order in the first. Trying to continue that good start. Levi Hilton is the designated hitter for Willard, and he stands in from the right side. And the first pitch to him is on the outside corner from White. Strike one. Fastball is a call strike two, so White working ahead of the hitters. That is a difference 
between his last outing uh, last in the middle of last week against Kickapoo when he struggled with his control a little bit, got behind on hitters. And a fastball up high, and Hilton went after it, chased it. He strikes out on a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout of the game for Cade White. And here comes Hayden Rakestra. Rakestra, big right-handed hitter, number 10, left fielder for Willard. Swing and a fly ball into shallow center field. Garrett Lester drifts in, ball, makes the catch. Field. That was easy for Garrett Lester. One pitch to Rick Straw, and he's retired. And Cade Hyder, the number six hitter in the order, will come to bat for Willard. Now batting for Willard, second baseman number three, Cade Hyder. Hyder, the second baseman for Willard. And a fastball was low and in. Ball one. Third baseman over there. Pilkington is in on the grass just in case Hyder has any funny ideas about bunting. And he takes one outside that went off the glove of Woods. Two balls, no strikes. Carter Nation bolted in there and picked up the foul ball. We'll see Nation shortly as he will come to bat later. 2-0, and and that one is on the inside corner. A called strike, and it's 2-1 and to Cade Hyder. Two strikeouts in the first five batters for Cade White. And that one is out of the strike zone somewhere. Not sure where that missed, whether it was high or outside, but it's three and one. Next one from White is outside, I guess. And this strike zone is a lot tighter than what we've seen through the first third or so of the season. That inside and outside pitch has typically been given to the pitchers in the games we've seen. As long as it's the same through the game, I don't think the teams will mind. Well, except for the pitchers, they'll mind. But a couple of balls there that have been called strikes at times earlier this season. And now there's a grounder through the hole on the right side. That's the first hit for Willard, and this is the first threat for Willard as they put two batters on with two outs in the second inning. Drew Quinlan with a single. Hyder advances to second. And Peyton Hyder Gayer, second. the center fielder, will bat. Two on and two out for Miller batter. Center fielder number four, Peyton Gayer. Gayer, the number eight hitter in the lineup. And White would like to retire him and have the number nine hitter leading off in the third. Let's see if he can do it. Checks the runner at second. That's Hyder. And it's a line drive into center field. It carries out to Garrett line Lester. Drive, and Lester. that's the third out of the Thank inning. So Lester retired pass. two in the inning. The other out was a strikeout. And Willard Back. leaves two runners Gator on base. There the was a hit, a walk. And we played an inning and a half. Republic comes to bat. No score. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Vision Health Eye Center, outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealtheyecenter.com. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com.
Elliot Robinson and Company LLP, certified public accountants, is Republic's local full service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our By the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliot Robinson and Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet, or find them online at ERCPA.com. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 530 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. One hit for each team as we go to the bottom of the first inning. And it will be Wyatt Woods, Brett Hendrickson, and Cooper Pilkington due up in the second inning for Republic. Trace Harrington doubled with two outs in the first inning and was stranded. And Wyatt Woods takes the ball from Cameron Jennings out there for his second inning of work. Swing and a line drive through the hole on the right side, and Woods cruises into first base with a leadoff base hit. So the Woods single puts the leadoff man on and brings Brett Hendrickson to the plate. Throw over and Woods dives back in. Pitch to Hendrickson is outside for a ball. 1 0. Rain is just sort of off and on. It's just a sprinkle every now and then. So, not enough to cause any problems for anybody. Maybe the ball would get a little damp after a ground ball at this point. But the count's 2 0 to Hendrickson. With Woods down there at first, Tigers trying to get the lead against Willard here. And up and in, a fastball. Leaned him back. And the count is three balls and no strikes to Hendrickson. With Pilkington waiting on deck. Hendrickson taking all the way. And it's three and one. Little chopper up the line. That counts full three and two. Swing and a foul out of play by Hendrickson. That keeps him alive. Woods retreats back to first base. First baseman for Willard over there. Drew Quinlan gave it a little look toward the fence, but it was well out of play. Three two count. And another foul ball. Willard 11 and 1. Republic 11 and 6. And Hendrickson worked a walk. And there's the 
tight strike zone working in favor of the Tigers. That's a similar pitch that White wanted to get for a strike. And the walk puts Hendrickson at first. Sends Woods down to second. And the Tigers have something brewing here in the second inning. Two on, nobody out as Cooper Pilkington stands in. First baseman is playing on the grass in case Pilkington is thinking of bunting. And let's see what Kurt Plotner and Cooper Pilkington have up their sleeve here. He is bunting, gets it down, and it was pretty hard. I think they would have had the force out at second, but they take the easy one. The sacrifice is good. Willard did not put the uh, what, what's sometimes called the wheel play on where they send the second baseman over. First baseman stayed at first. Runners in scoring position now for Carter Nation, and he takes the strike on the outside corner. A base hit by Nation would score at least one and maybe two. Infield very shallow against Carter Nation. And a swing and a miss. Nation is in the hole 0 and 2. Next pitch from Jennings is outside. Wasted one out of the strike zone, 1 and 2. Ryder Davis on deck for Republic. No score. Bottom of the second inning. Republic is hoping to hand Willard its second loss of the season. And a swing and a pop up. Out of play. Tigers about at the, I said the first third of the season earlier. They're about at the halfway point now. Nation took a strike. So Nation called out on strikes. Second strikeout at a key moment for Cameron Jennings. And there are two away with Ryder Davis coming to the plate. Now batting for Republic, second baseman number two, Ryder Davis. Davis bats from the right side. Jennings gets the sign and comes set. And a high fastball. 1-0. and oh. Up high, ball two. And there is a base open, but Garrett Lester's on deck, and since he gets on base at about a 60% clip, you don't really want him coming up with the bases loaded. That puts you in trouble because he's just as likely to work a walk with the bases loaded as anything else and drive in a run. Davis fouls that one off. And I don't know who that hit, but it was a direct hit on somebody. You could hear it. To clarify, on somebody's car, I could hear the the crush of whatever it was that it hit. Fastball is out of the strike zone, and again, that tight zone works this time in favor of Republic. Three balls, one strike. Davis trying to get on base, keep the inning alive, or... There's a huge gap in left center field. If he finds that, he'll run for a while, and two runs will score, and that one got away from the catcher, and the run is going to score. Scores from third, Wyatt Woods, and the walk by Ryder Davis. 
So it's a walk, and I don't know if the catcher thought that that hit Davis. Let's watch it again. He pulled his bat back. He didn't really act like it was hit, and he turned and he waved the runner in. And so that's going to be a wild pitch, I presume, unless they change something. It, you can't tell on the replay whether it hit him or not. He did pull the arm back. But I don't think they're going to change anything. So that's a walk to Davis. Runners at the corner for Republic. And the wild pitch allows Henderson Woods to score and allows Top Hendrickson to go to third. Fielder, Runners Lester. at the corners for Garrett Lester. And it's one nothing Republic. Wait, I cannot get over how shallow these outfielders play for Willard. Even against the heart of the order, they were pretty shallow. And the first pitch from Jennings is lying right at the shortstop on two hops. Throws over to second for the force out. Lester's 0 for 2. That's a rarity lately. As he hits into the fielder's choice, Davis is retired on the force out 6-4, and that ends the inning. But the Tigers score a run. They had one base hit. Here in the bottom of the second inning. There were a couple of one walks, run. a wild pitch. Hit, two walks, two and the Tigers runners. left two runners two on base. We go to the third. Tigers, Tigers now on top of Willard. one nothing. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call far better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Top of the third Sheeran. inning. And it's the 9 1 and 2 hitters due up for Willard. Colin Sparing, the number nine hitter, the right fielder, leads things off for Willard. And the first pitch to him is popped up over on the right side. Foul territory. Harrington's got a beat on it. Makes the play. Made in foul territory by Trace Harrington for out number one. So quick out number one for Cade White in his third inning of work. White has struck out two. He's allowed one hit and walked about it through his first two and a third innings. And back to the top of the order in Landon Moore, who struck out looking his first time up. White looks in, and he takes the strike at the knees. 0-1. Moore, left-handed batter. Open stance. Boy, he's got his front leg way out there and now he steps in and toward it and it's two hopper to Pilkington throw across is in time as Pilkington play makes the play Cooper Pilkington toss across to Harrington for the out. Moore is retired 5-3 and now it's Cameron Jennings who 
Grounded out softly to first, his first time up. Congratulations to Tori Mooneyham. Officially named head girls basketball coach after serving as an assistant here at Republic for 25 years. She was a part of those early successful teams in the 90s as a player and has been an assistant to Chris Flood since she was hired as a coach and now steps up to the head coaching job with Flood's retirement. So congratulations to head coach Tori Mooneyham. And she is with the track team today over in Nixa. She's the girls' head track coach, Ryan Cornelson, the boys' head coach for track, and they are all over there at Nixa tonight. And while we're handing out congratulations, congratulations to Zion Allen, who broke the school long jump record at Parkview in the Hillcrest Invitational on Friday. That pitch is high, and it's ball four to Cameron Jennings. So Jennings draws a two-out walk. Two out walk it's Cameron so early Jennings. in the track season. Usually you don't get broken records early in the track season, so I didn't even bother to check if anybody had broken a record, and I looked, and Zion Allen broke the, uh, broke the record for long jump. Seven meters even. So congratulations to Zion. Runner is going, throw down is in time, and they got him. Nice tag applied by Hughes, and Jennings is out trying to steal second. What a throw by Wyatt Woods. Took in down Jennings, and the third inning is over. Watch the throw right on the money, and the tag applied by Hughes. And we've played two and a half Republic on top, one nothing. We'll have the bottom of the third after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's, pizza, pasta, perfection, and Tiger Spirit. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel, they've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. About ready to start the bottom of the third inning with the Tigers on top. one nothing against Willard. And speaking of Willard, the Lady Tigers soccer team is over at Willard tonight for a big COC showdown with Willard. And if this one gets done in time, I'm going to head over there. No live stream tonight, but I'll head over there and have pictures and a report from that one. Lady Tigers have played pretty well against a tough, tough schedule. And lost one run, uh, one goal matches 
to three very good teams last week, Kickapoo, Glendale, and Springfield Catholic. And the first pitch is up and in to Devin Hughes. Hughes struck out his first time. And he lines it into left center field. That's between the outfielder and is, is going to get down. A leadoff single for Devin Hughes. Hughes is the leadoff man reaching base for the second inning in a row for Republic. Woods Runner singled first, to lead off the second, second inning and came Harrington. in to score on a wild pitch. And here's Trace Harrington who roped the ball over the head of the left fielder his last time. And the left fielder is playing slightly deeper this time against Harrington. Hughes gets a lead over at first base. And a ground ball up the middle, and it could be two. Scoop to second, throw to first, and a scoop at first, and that is a 6-4-3 double play. Six, four, three. Out short to second. Out. Second to first. Good play by the shortstop, Matthew Angel. Scooped it up with his glove to the second baseman, Cade Hyder. Hyder turned it to first, and the double play. Right fielder Jackson gets, uh, Cameron Jennings out of trouble for now. And Jackson over street bats. First pitch is outside to over street. Two out, nobody on for Overstreet. The next pitch from Jennings is inside. 2-0. Oh. Wyatt Woods waits on deck. Republic on top, 1-0. Tigers looking for their sixth straight win. And a strike to Overstreet. Overstreet grounded out to third his last time up. Chops it foul outside the third baseline. Counts even, or it counts full now, three and two. Jennings gets the side, works out of the windup. Here it comes. And that is ball four. Overstreet through the walk. Willard fans express their displeasure. Wyatt Woods bats with Overstreet at first base and two down. Now batting for Republic catcher Wyatt Woods. So we've got a visit to the mound, and here we go. Now we're ready. My outfield camera is, I, I think, uh, I was telling some people up here, you probably heard, I think the camera's in the same place as last time, but Willard's second baseman has tended to line up right in line with the batter from where the camera is. Right now he's, right now he's good. Stay where you are, no, there he goes. Back to the wide shot, and the first pitch to Woods is a strike. Woods singled the other way last time. You can see that right fielder is in shallow. And a fly ball into center field. The center fielder drifts back. Wind holds it up for him. And that's the third out of the inning. Tigers in the bottom of the third. No runs, one hit. 
There was also a walk, a double play by Willard, and one runner left on base. We go to the fourth, Republic on top of Willard, 1-0. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnegar Advantage. Top customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnegar Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnegar family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnegarChevrolet.com. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Matthew Angel leads it off in the fourth inning, and he takes a breaking ball out of the strike zone. Ball one to Matthew Angel. Angel, the number three hitter in this Willard lineup. And facing Cade White, who's back there for his fourth inning of work. And he throws a fastball for a strike. Angel flied out to Garrett Lester in center in the first inning. He's 0 for 1. Angel was at bat when Cameron Jennings was thrown out trying to steal second by Wyatt Woods. And that one's a little bit low, two and one. So Angel back out there after being stranded at the plate, so to speak, by Jennings being caught stealing. Next pitch from White is a fastball for a strike. Two and two. Matthew Angel, Levi Hilton, Hayden Rakestraw do up here in the fourth inning for Willard. And a hard hit ball inside the line. Fair past the diving Harrington. No, it's foul. I thought he pointed fair, but it's foul. Good effort by Harrington. Watch it again. Nope, yep, his hands went up. I only saw the one hand go up and thought it was pointing fair, but both his hands went up. Foul ball. Tigers caught a break. It's still two and two to Matthew Angel. And that one bounces up there, three and two. Wind is picked up now, blowing pretty much, feels like it's blowing pretty much in my face. So in from center field. Maybe in from right center slightly. 3-2 pitch to Angel on the way. And he ropes it down the line. Foul outside the line. 3-2. and two. So Angel having no problem getting around on White. But he's hit two balls foul just outside the line over there. That one was foul by about 8 to 10 feet, I would say. White trying to get the leadoff hitter here in the fourth. He's retired the leadoff hitter three times in a row. And he may do it again. That's a fly ball, and Hendrickson 
ranges over to his right. Started to go to his left and then realized it was slicing the other way. Reaches up, makes the catch, and that's four innings in a row that the leadoff hitter has been retired by Cade White. Angel retired for the second time. He's over two, and here comes Levi Hilton. First pitch to him is a strike on the outside corner. Hilton struck out, swinging in the second. He led off the second inning. White working pretty quickly. Out of the stretch, here it comes. That one is a breaking pitch that was a little outside. Woods tried to frame it and keep it in. But they didn't get the call, it's one and one. That one low ball too. Ball three, fastball outside. Cade White has thrown 44 pitches. Twenty-seven of them strikes. And it's three and one now. And a swing and a miss. Looked like maybe he took a little bit off that one. And it's a three and two count to Levi Hilton. Hayden Rakestraw waits on deck. White to Hilton, here it comes, outside, ball four. And that's a one-out walk drawn by Levi Hilton. One-out walk for Hilton. That's the third walk of the game issued by Cade White. And Hayden Rickstraw, the left fielder, will come to the plate. Let's see if he wants to bunt. Show any signs of bunting and a slatter drops in there for a strike. 0 and 1. Ryder Davis playing over closer to the second base back, hoping for a double play ball. You can see Hughes and Davis there at double play depth. Close enough to turn two if the opportunity presents itself. And that one bounces and gets away from Woods and goes back to the backstop. And down to second base goes Levi Hilton and so much for double play depth. The wild pitch sends Hilton down to second base. And Rick Straw has him in scoring position there. It's only the second time today that Willard has put a runner at second base. A swing and a miss, a late swing by Rakestraw. That's a strike, and it's two and two. And a hard hit ball to Hendrickson. Started to take a step in, decided he didn't need to. And that's an out by Rick Straw. He flies out for the second time. That one more of a line drive to Hendrickson. And there are two gone. Both outs recorded by Hendrickson here in the fourth. And Kate Heider will bat. Heider walked and was stranded his last time up. And he'll try to deliver a two out something here to get Willard on the board. They trail one nothing in the top of the fourth. White checks the runner, pitches, and it's on the outside corner. That's a strike. Got the call on that one. And he gets ahead in the count on this at bat. Two 
So I'm going to pop up on the infield. Who wants it? Davis calls for it. He's got it. And that ends the inning. Easy pop up. Not so easy in this win for Ryder Davis. And Willard strands another runner. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Republic looking for some insurance runs. Leading 1-0. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Hind Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hind Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Andy Day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. Brett Hendrickson leads things off for Republic. In the bottom of the fourth inning, it's Hendrickson, Pilkington, and Nation. Due up here against Cameron Jennings. And the first pitch is outside. To Brett Hendrickson. Hendrickson walked his first time up. Got to third base before he was stranded. And he swings and tips it. Foul. And that one caught the catcher. So it counts even one and one. And while they tend to the catcher, in there I think everybody congregating around the field trying to take some time and it looks like Rowden Lejeune is going to be okay nice going to stick in there so it's a 1-1 count and Hendrickson will step back in there and fouls it high out of play and into the parking lot. That one was way up there in the Gulf Stream. And off speed, he waved at it out in front and goes down on strikes. Hendrickson retired for the second time, and he's the first out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. That's the third strikeout. Cameron Jennings and Cooper Pilkington will back. Pilkington. Pilkington is, uh, well, he's 0 for 0. He sacrificed his first time up, so that's not an at bat. He swings and misses at a fastball. Bunted back to the pitcher and moved up Woods and Hendrickson, who had reached base to start the second inning. And that ended up leading to a run when Woods scored on a wild pitch, the only run of the game. Missed with a breaking ball inside. One and one. Pilkington ready. So is Jennings. That one is a ball. Two and one. Boys tennis team is down at Joplin tonight for a COC battle. 
It's the first time they've gone on the road this season. There's a hard hit foul. Two, two, the count to Pilkington. Carter Nation waits on deck. Next one from Jennings is, again, fouled out of play. That one's going back toward where I'm parked. Huh? That one made me nervous. Count remains two and two. Bottom, or rather, uh, yeah, bottom of the fourth inning. One out, and Republic on top, one nothing, and a breaking pitch is grounded into the hole. And a long throw is not in time, and then it gets away from the first baseman, and Pilkington's just going to stay at first. Thought about going to second over there. Good job by the shortstop Angel to get to it, but no way he could plant and throw. Tried to pull a Derek Jeter with the throw there, and he was not going to get Pilkington. So one out, one on for Carter Nation. Infield single for Pilkington. the fourth base, base hit for the Tigers. And Nation takes a fastball for a strike. Nation struck out looking his last time. Outside with a breaking pitch, one ball, one strike. Republic scored the only run of this game back in the bottom of the second inning on a wild pitch that allowed Wyatt Woods to scamper across the plate. And a called strike two to Carter Nation. It's one and two to Carter. Breaking pitch, strikes out Nation. He goes down looking for the second time tonight. Strikeout number four overall for Cameron Jennings. Snap throw down to first. Was not in time to catch Cooper Pilkington. And Ryder Davis bats with two outs and a runner on first base. He drew a walk his first time up. And he takes the ball. Now he flies it into shallow left, and it's going to blow all the way to the edge of the infield. Left fielder comes in, makes the play. Davis is retired on the pop-up, and that ends the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one runner left on base. We go to the fifth. The Republic leads 1-0 over Willard. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealthicenter.com. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com.
Elliot Robinson and Company, LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliot Robinson and Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza, across from Pinnegar Chevrolet. Or find them online at ERCPA.com. Top of the fifth inning, Drew Quinlan, Peyton Gayer, and Colin Sparing, seven, eight, and nine hitters due up for Willard. And they're facing Cade White. White has worked four innings so far, and there's a pop-up. That's going to be four to third innings. As the pop-up is easy for Ryder Davis. That's two straight pop-ups to Davis. Quinlan is retired. And that's four to third innings now. Pitched by Cade White. He's allowed only one hit, three walks. He is uncharacteristically only struck out two but letting his defense do the work and it's been successful so far brings in Peyton Gayer he flied out to center his first time 0 for 1 and he takes a fastball high White through four and a third innings has thrown 54 pitches 34 of them for strikes Misses outside, 2-0 and to Peyton Gayer. That one's a fastball for a strike, 2-1. and one. Ten seniors on this Republic baseball team. And they are playing very well along with everybody else right now. There's a swing and a ground ball to short. Hughes scoops, throws, out. Ground ball left side. Boy, Hughes yeah, is fun to watch over there. So smooth. He's as good as a shortstop defensively as the Tigers have had in a while. This makes everything look real easy over there at short. You know, at the high school level, sometimes a ground ball to the left side of the infield. Kind of hold your breath. Heading for right fielder Colin Spearing. But Number in general, seven. not that he's perfect over there, but you don't feel like you got to hold your breath when they hit it to Devin Hughes. Jarrett McGee is going to pinch hit. Two outs, nobody on as he faces Cade White. And the first pitch to him is a strike. Next one is a ball. One ball, one strike to Jarrett McGee. A pop-up to second, a ground ball to short. And now two outs, nobody on. And White missed with a fastball. I'm not sure where that one was. Must have been low. So it's two and one to McGee. That one caught the corner. Two balls, two strikes. Landon Moore, the leadoff hitter for Willard, is on deck over there. Willard 11 and 1 overall and 1 and 0 in conference play. Republic playing its first COC game tonight. And what a big win this would be. Swinging a little looper into left field over the head of Pilkington. It might be extra bases. Nope. McGee rounded the bag and then held up. And I think he probably could have made it to second because Hendrickson had a little problem picking it up out of the grass over there. And so if McGee had intended as he rounded the bag to take second, 
and gone the whole way, probably would have made it. Now McGee comes out and sparing goes back in to run. So third baseman Landon Moore. Don't know what you'd call that. He's sparing is pinch running for his pinch hitter, I guess is how you would say that. And there's a line drive into right field. It sends over straight back. It's over his head. And that may tie the game. It will tie the game as sparing rounds third base. And sliding into third with a triple is Landon Moore. He hit that ball hard, harder than I realized he had. I didn't think it was going to carry that much, and I don't think Overstreet did either. It's an RBI triple for Landon Moore, and we are all tied up at one. So a one-out single by McGee, and then the triple by Moore scores the run, and the score is tied at one apiece. And here comes Cameron Jennings, who... Has a little spring in his step after the game's been tied. He takes a breaking pitch for strike. This game moving along pretty quickly. We're in the fifth, and just a little over an hour. About an hour and 12 minutes. Fastball is high, one and one. Jennings is 0 for 1 with a walk. He walked last time and was caught trying to steal second base. And he swings at a breaking pitch. Knew he shouldn't be swinging as the bat went around. Tried to check it, it was too late. And he's behind on the count one and two. Cade White trying to get out of this with the score still tied. He looks over there at Landon Moore who's trying to cause some havoc and a breaking pitch catches the outside corner. That's a strikeout. Third strikeout of the game for Cade White. Jennings is retired, and the inning is over. But two base hits, including an RBI triple by Landon Moore. And Willard has tied the game. They leave a runner on base. We go to the bottom of the fifth. All tied up at one. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Destiny Church is a proud supporter of Republic Tiger Sports. Join us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. at 526 East Harrison behind McAllister's. We also have a youth service for students 6th through 12th grade. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, or online at destinychurch.me. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's, pizza, pasta, perfection, and tiger spirit. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. 
your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Garrett Lester to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. New ball game as Willard has tied it up at one with a run in the top of the fifth inning. And Lester will try and help the Tigers get back on top. Outside, ball one. The outfield is playing Lester way around to hit the ball the other way. If he pulls the ball down the first baseline, he's going to run forever. The right fielder is not, not far to the right of where the second baseman is lined up. The center fielder is way over to the left, and none of them very deep. Counts one and one to Lester as Cameron Jennings delivers, and there's a foul back to the screen. One ball, two strikes. Jennings has thrown 67 pitches, 40 strikes. And one and two, and he just missed with a breaking pitch outside. Two balls, two strikes. Down and in. Ball three, and Lester trying to draw a walk or get on base somehow to start this inning. Lester uncharacteristically 0 for 2. He's been on base so much that that has not happened very often this year that he's been 0 for 2. And he takes it outside, ball 4. So Lester reaches base. Lead-off walk for Garrett Lester. Lead-off walk. Walk number four for Cameron Jennings. And Lester dives back in on the pickoff throw from Jennings. Dusts himself off over there. Hughes one for two. Singled his last time. It was doubled up as part of a double play, and he fouls it back to the screen. No balls, two strikes to Devin Hughes. Or no balls, one strike to Devin Hughes. Another throw over. Lester dives back in. Takes it at the letters, a call strike. Hughes thought it was a little high. 0-2. Oh Another throw over, and Lester back in safely. Jennings with a long look and another throw over. He is really worried about Lester over there. On first base with nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Jennings has allowed four base hits. And when you hear the phrase, he scattered four base hits, that just means they didn't bunch them together, and he has scattered them about as good as you can scatter them. He's pitched four innings, and the Tigers have one hit in each of those four innings. But haven't been able to bunch any together yet. Trying to do that here. Pop-up on the infield. Short stop. 
calls for it. Matthew Angel makes the catch at the edge of the infield grass. And that's one out in the fifth inning. And Trace Harrington will bat next. Harrington one for two, he doubled back in the first inning. Grounded into a double play in the third. And we're gonna get a visit to the mound here. I don't know if we're gonna get a pitching change or not. Maybe just wanna talk about how to deal with Trace Harrington, the big bat in the middle of the lineup and Jackson Overstreet on deck. So with Harrington, Overstreet and Woods, Willard may just want to talk things over here and decide how to approach things with the runner on first and one out. Getting pretty late. Only two more innings for Willard to bat if they fall behind here. Lady Tigers soccer team is at Willard tonight. They will get underway here shortly. JV playing now. Trying to translate some of those near misses against quality opponents in the first half of the season to wins in COC play. And COC always tough as well. Harrington bats with Lester at first. And it's a fastball on the outside corner. Outside, and that gets away from the catcher. It's a wild pitch. And down to second base goes... Garrett Lester on the wild pitch that got away from Rod Lejeune. Kind of chuckled because threw over to keep Lester close about five or six times and then throw a wild pitch. Down he goes to second base anyway. All that effort. And now they're going to intentionally walk Trace Harrington. That's the fifth walk. Issued by Cameron Jennings. And now there are two on and one out. Second. For Jackson Overstreet. Tiger right fielder Jackson Overstreet. Well, I understand the thinking there, but Jackson Overstreet has been pretty good this year, and that is a dangerous situation for Willard. Overstreet batting now with two on. That does reset the double play opportunity for Willard's defense on a ground ball, and the first pitch is a strike to Overstreet. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. Woods on deck. Tied up one, bottom of the fifth. Thought about going after a pitch and held up. I think that's a good call. I don't think he broke the plane. Clearly thought about swinging, but I don't think it was that close to a swing. And the count's one and one. Lester at second. Harrington at first. Harrington's got a big lead over there at first. They're playing behind him. And a breaking pitch dips outside. Good eye by Overstreet, two and one. See the first baseman backing up behind Harrington. Looks like Harrington's having a little conversation over there with the first baseman. That's Ball three. Drew Quinlan is the first baseman for Willard, and they look like they're talking it up. Three and one count to Jackson Overstreet. And this is a big pitch from Jennings. It's high with a fastball. That's ball four, and the bases are loaded. So they intentionally walked Trace Harrington, and that's the danger. Now walk number six issued to Overstreet. That's three walks in the inning, and the bases are loaded with one out for Wyatt Woods. Woods singled 
and scored in the second inning. Flew out to center field in the third, and now I think we are going to have a pitching change. While Willard talks things over, I'll take a break. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel. They've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. You're always on a winning team with the Pinnaker Advantage. Tough customer satisfaction. A large selection of new and pre-owned inventory. Plus 20% off routine maintenance for the entire ownership of your vehicle purchased at Pinnaker Chevrolet in Republic. You can score big with the Pinnaker family style service serving the Ozark since 1979 with the knowledge and no hassle or gimmicks that will make your car shopping experience easy. Let our family take care of yours with a five-star customer experience at PinnakerChevrolet.com. Introduce your young child to sweet peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. New pitcher for Willard is Kalen Adams, K-A-E-L-I-N, Adams. And he comes in with the bases loaded and one out. And All-State catcher Wyatt Woods coming to the plate. Woods could do a lot of damage here. Adams, a big right-hander, gets the pitch call from the dugout over there. That's how Willard does it. Breaking pitch low, ball one. Republic broke on top in the bottom of the second, one nothing. Willard tied it in the top of this inning, one one. Now the base is loaded and one out for Woods and he grounds it back to the pitcher and he throws home and that's it. And he almost threw to first. I presume he must have thought there were two outs, but that was Almost the disaster for Willard. So Woods reaches on a fielder's choice on the ground out. And Wester is out at home. 1-2. And it brings in Hendrickson. And he swings and misses at a breaking pitch. 0-1. Harrington at third, Overstreet now at second, Woods at first. And Hendrickson takes the curveball for a strike. It's 0-2 to Hendrickson. And Adams trying to work out of this bases loaded jam. He came in with the bases loaded and one out. He's gotten one. Really probably should have had a double play. But he hesitated on the throw, and that is a swing and a miss. A strikeout by Adams. The Willard faithful erupt in applause, and Hendrickson is struck out for the second time. First strikeout for Kalen Adams. He gets out of trouble in the fifth. We go to the sixth, all tied up at one. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. 
Hines Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hines Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Recently, Cox Health Springfield Hospitals achieved magnet designation in nursing, an accomplishment that only 9% of hospitals in the nation share. This honor is huge for us and for you because meeting 94 standards of excellence is a bar as high as it gets in nursing. Nurses who do more so you can feel better. Cox Health, it's the right thing. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. Willard's got to be feeling pretty good after that. Bases loaded, one out. They got out of the jam without a run scoring. They're still tied up as we start the sixth, and they've got the three, four, and five hitters due up against Cade White. And the first pitch from White is a ball to Matthew Angel, who's 0 for 2. Angel flew out to center, flew out to left. Outfield plays him deep straight away. He bats leading off here in the top of the sixth. Next pitch from White is a fastball low, 2 and 0. Seventy pitches for White, forty-three strikes, and that one's a fastball, and that one missed. Three and zero. I thought it caught the corner, but might have been a little bit high, maybe outside. It's three and zero to Matthew Angel, leading off here in the sixth inning, and White needs to work all the way back, and he's part of the way there with that strike. Three and one. That one caught the corner, three and two. I thought that was going to be ball four. White got the call on that one on the outside half. And he's one strike away from coming back against Angel after a 3-0 count. Let's see if he can do it. Nope, ball four. And White thought that one was a strike. Lead off walk sends Angel down to first base. That's the fourth walk of the game by White. And it brings in Levi Hilton, who's 0 for 1 with a walk. Hilton, the designated hitter. Angel gets the lead at first base. Harrington standing there holding him on, but not on the bag. Harrington tends to stand off the bag, being a right-hander. And then if the throw comes, he can just slap that glove down on the bag behind him. Owen won the count. And a swing and a miss by Hilton. Hilton struck out once before. That was back in the second. Walked and went to second on a wild pitch and was stranded in the fourth inning. Wants to at least advance the runner here as he makes, even if he makes an out. Curve ball missed. One and two. Sky looks a little bit lighter than it did before. Not exactly close to the sun breaking through, but a little more light than there was. 
and the wind has temporarily at least let up. It was really whipping in toward home plate from center field. That one missed. Two and two. And a pop up in foul territory. Harrington over and makes the catch over near that warning track over there. That's the first out of the inning. And a big out after Angel had walked to lead off. Here comes Hayden Rakestraw, the left fielder. 0 for 2. Flight out to center. Lined out to left. Wyatt Woods will trot out to the mound and have a little conversation with Cade White. With one out and one on in the top of the sixth inning in a 1-1 game. 11 and 1, the record for Willard coming into this one. Republic with 11 wins, six losses, and they have won five straight. And the runner goes, and he took off early. There's no way they're going to get him. He took off when White turned his back, took a chance, and that's a stolen base. See, he was already almost halfway when I switched that camera. And White was letting go of the ball. And a fly ball into left field. Hendrickson Easy for Hendrickson. Makes, for makes the catch. Second time in a row that Rakestraw has flied out to Hendrickson. That's the second out of the inning. And with a runner at second base, still Cade Hyder. Comes to back. He walked in the second, popped out to Ryder Davis in the fifth. And he bats here with a runner on second and the go ahead run and two out in the sixth inning. And the first pitch to him is a ball. Seven, eight, nine hitters, Pilkington Nation and Davis, do up in the bottom of the sixth. And that's a strike at the knees. Willard fans didn't like that one. One and one. Runner bouncing off the bag, and he throws behind him, and it gets away, but goes right over to Ryder Davis. <laughs> Runner had come way off the base. And I think the throw hit him as he dove back in. That's Matthew Angel. One ball, one strike, two outs, runner at second, top of the sixth inning, 1-1 one, one game. Cade White gets the sign from Wyatt Woods. This is outside, 2-1. That's a fastball on the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes, and White is one strike away from getting out of the sixth. If he can get Hyder here, he'd have seven, eight, nine due up in the seventh. And a foul ball lined outside the first baseline. The runner Angel retreats to second base. Count remains two and two. And a curveball missed high. White thought he had that one. So a couple of pitches ago, it was the Willard fans who moaned and groaned. Now it's the Republic fans who are unhappy with a call. And the count is full three and two to Cade Hyder.
Payoff pitch from White is low ball four. Another walk. And there are runners at first and second now with two outs. Fifth walk issued by Cade White. Andrew Quinlan bats. Quinlan singled in the second. Popped out to Davis his last time and he takes the curveball. It froze him and he leaned back from it and dropped in there 0-1 on the big sweeping curveball by Cade White. 0-1. Popped up, out of play, into the parking lot. 0-2. White in good position now, ahead on the count. 0-2 to Drew Quinlan. Matthew Angel at second is the go-ahead run. Cade Hyder down at first. No balls, two strikes to Drew Quinlan. Long look from White, and he shakes off the signal from Woods. And so Quinlan calls timeout. Took a little too long. He'll step back in there. O2 pitch, there goes the runner, a swing and a miss. Woods stops it, throws down to first, and that retires the side. Quinlan strikes out. And the Tigers get out of the top of the sixth without any damage. A couple of walks, no hits, two runners left on base. We go to the bottom of the sixth, tied up at one. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about retmo spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Vision Health Eye Center, outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealtheyecenter.com. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Elliott Robinson & Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our Buy the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliott Robinson & Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza across from Pinnegar Chevrolet, or find them online at ERCPA.com. Bottom of the sixth inning, Cooper Pilkington, Carter Nation, Ryder Davis due up for the Tigers against Kalen Adams out there for his second inning of work. First pitch to Pilkington is called a strike on the outside corner. Kalen Adams came in with the bases loaded and one out and got out of trouble. Kept the game tied at one in the fifth. He's got a 1-1 one -one count on Pilkington. And Pilkington takes a strike, one and two. Pilkington one for one with a walk. Singled his last time and was stranded. One for one with a sacrifice, I should say. And that one skied into the parking lot. Keeps him alive at one and two. His sacrifice led to the Tigers' only run. K-1 
Kalen Adams. Winds and fires, and he missed outside. Pilkington laid off that one. That was not an easy one to take. Two and two. And a little line drive over the head of the second baseman and a diving catch made by the right fielder. Sliding and making the play was Colin Sparing. And that's the shallow play of the outfielders I've been talking about all day. Sparing was in there to make the catch on a little looper over the head of the second baseman. One out, Tiger batter, designated hitter, Carter Nation. Nation 0 for 2. Takes a breaking pitch. One ball, one strike to Carter Nation. Batting from the right side. Ryder Davis on deck. And takes a strike. Nation looks like he's just having one of those days where he's having a hard time recognizing pitches. He's taken some strikes that and he's had some borderline calls go against him, but there's a check swing and it got away from the catcher and it's going to be a chance for Nation to reach base safely. And there's an example. He swung at a pitch that was well out of the strike zone and in that case, it worked in his favor as he goes down to first base. Jackson Taylor, pinch runner for Republic at first. Reaches on the wild pitch. And Jackson Taylor is Batting the pinch runner. Tigers, one on, one out. Second baseman, Ryder Davis. Ryder Davis bats with a runner at first. Fastball and diving back into first is Jackson Taylor. That pitch high, ball two, two and oh. Davis takes ball three. So it's 3-0 and oh to Davis with a runner at first and one out. And Lester, the leadoff hitter, waits on deck. Ryder Davis 0 for 1 with a walk, and he takes the strike on the inside corner. Davis took one at the letters called a strike. That one could have easily been called high, but the count's full three and two to Davis. Swing and a grounder, could be two. Scoop to second for one, throw to first in time, the four, six, three double play. And that ends the inning. Second Willard short, short first. gets out of trouble. And we go to the seventh between two COC powers all tied up in one. Back with more after this. You're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com.
When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's, pizza, pasta, perfection, and Tiger Spirit. We go to the seventh, all tied up at one. Cade White back out there for his seventh inning of work. And it's the time in the game when we've got to pay attention to pitch counts. White has thrown 92 pitches. He can throw 105 before he's got to come out. And if he reaches 105 in the middle of an at-bat, he can finish that batter. So he'd like to be as efficient as possible, and he throws a strike to the leadoff hitter, Peyton Gayer. Gayer is 0 for 2. Grounded out to short his last time up. And a curveball is a strike. Two, curveball, swing and a miss. A strikeout to lead off the inning. Three strikes. Gayer is retired. That's five strikeouts. Now batting the right fielder, number 11. And 95 pitches now for Cade White. And here comes Colin Sparing. Sparing is 0 for 1. He did not bat his last time. They pinch hit for him, and then he came back in and ran. So he, he was pinch hit for. McGee got on base, and then Sparing came in and pinch ran for his pinch hitter, I guess, or just re-entered the game, however you want to say it. Came in to score the only run of the game for Willard. And there's a strike. It's one and one. Pitch number 97. So he's got eight left before he would have to come out at the next batter. Can't see the Republic bullpen from here. That one missed, two and one. Back to the top of the order. So in addition to wanting to be efficient here, he wants to get this out so that the bases are empty when the leadoff hitter, Landon Moore, comes to bat. Two and one to count to sparing. He swings and misses. That's a strike. It's two and two. Ninety-nine pitches by Cade White. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Sparing down on strikes. Third consecutive strikeout for Cade White, who is now fanned six. And there are two outs and nobody on as Landon Moore comes to the plate. That's 100 pitches even for Cade White. Moore tripled his last time and drove in the only run of the game for Willard. And he takes the curveball for a strike 0-1. Struck out looking in the first, grounded out to Pilkington in the third. Batting now the fourth time today. Curveball stays high, one and one. 102 pitches now by Cade White. So he can finish this at bat no matter what. If he would give up a hit here in the next couple of pitches, then he could face Cameron Jennings. And that's a call strike on the inside corner. Moore didn't like that call. He was backing away from it from the left side. And it's one and two. White trying to get out of this inning and send it to the bottom of the seventh tied up. 
Next pitch is on the way. And a curveball in the dirt. One and two. That is pitch number 104. So this will be the last batter for Cade White, no matter what. He's got to come out after pitch 105. Two, two. Here's the next one from White. Fastball just missed inside. Three and two. Big pitch here to Landon Moore. The last batter that Cade White will face. Three and two the count. Two outs. Top of the seventh. Here it comes. Inside ball four. White lets the batter more reach base two out, two out walk and that's going to do it for Cade White well what an outing for White he struck out three in a row before letting Moore off the hook there on the 3-2 pitch and he gave up only one run to a very good Willard lineup in six and two thirds innings of work he exits Great effort by And Tiger. it'll be Cannon Ellison today, to come in Cade and try White. to finish off the top of the seventh. I'll take a break while he warms up. Goes Back with more after this on run. Republic Tiger Sports. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit laurieandelizabeth.reesnichols.com, your seasoned real estate teammates. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. PKD Cafe is now Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company, but it's still where the 417's best burritos meet friendly faces. A haven for Republic students, it's the perfect spot to fuel up before school or unwind on a weekend. Your pit stop for flavor and relaxation only at Marigold Farm Cafe and Catering Company. Teamwear Solutions is not only your source for official Tiger apparel, but they're also a partner for your group's fundraising needs. Business apparel, bleacher apparel, and on-field apparel, they've got you covered. Find them online at TeamwearSolutions.com. Harris Pizza brings a slice of history to your table. Since 1961, their blend of handcrafted dough, rich sauces, and a variety of fresh toppings cooked in an authentic brick oven offers a unique dining experience. Explore their menu at arispizzapalace.com or drop into the Wildwood Plaza on Highway 60. Whether you have a hole in your roof or you're missing a single shingle, you know who to call in Republic. It's Mike Mansker and the team at Absolute Roofing. Give them a call at 869-0444 or find them online at absoluteroofers.com. Cannon Ellison, the new pitcher for Republic. He's got a runner at first One base, two outs, for two outs, and he'll come in to Adams. pitch to Kalen Adams. And the first pitch to Adams is a strike. Adams came in in relief and replaced Cameron Jennings in the lineup. And so he bats for the first time. Oh, and one. Adam showed bunt. It was a ball, one ball, one strike. In case you're wondering, the top of the order is due up for the Tigers in the seventh. First, they've got to get through the top half of the inning. 1-1 one, one count. And another pitch high, 2-1. and one. 
Adams does not look especially interested in hitting. He would love to draw a walk, I think. He's shown bunt a couple of times, including on an 0-1 count. And he takes ball three. Wyatt Woods will go out and try and settle things down for Cannon Ellison. Matthew Angel, the shortstop, is on deck for Willard. Three balls, no strikes, or three balls, one strike to Kalen Adams. And ball four. Ellison walked him. Puts well, runners at first Adams. and second. The go-ahead run is down at second base in the person of Landon Moore. Four at second, Adams at first. And Matthew Angel will bat. Angel, a left-handed hitter. Base for pitcher Kalen Adams. Number 12, Jackson Phipps. Jackson Phipps comes in to bat. Or comes in to run, rather. Willard batter is the shortstop, Matthew Angel. First pitch to Angel, the ball. Two on, two out. Top of the seventh, tied at one. And there's a swing and a foul ball out of play. One ball, one strike. Moore, the runner at second base, is still the responsibility of Republic starter Cade White. And a fly ball into shallow left and the shortstop Hughes is back and he makes the catch and the inning is over so Ellison walked the hitter but got out of the jam with the pop out to Devin Hughes by for Matthew Willard. Angel the seventh inning, no, runs, two no walks, runs for Willard no hits, a couple of walks no base Nobody hits base. and we go to the, the bottom of the seventh remains, all tied up in one Tigers let's see if the Tigers, Tigers can won. win it in walk-off fashion after this timeout you're watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports. Introduce your young child to Sweet Peas at Gold Medal Gyms. It's ideal for kids aged 12 months to 5 years, promoting physical, social, and cognitive growth. Learn more at goldmedalgyms.com. State Farm Insurance is there anytime, anywhere you need it with helpful advice and award-winning service. In Republic, call Chris Yoakum at 732-1463 or go online at chrisyoakum.com and get to a better state. Hind Street Pharmacy delivers prescriptions right to your door, and they can often save you money compared to what you're paying at the big box pharmacies. And their drive-up window can help you avoid long lines on your way home from work, too. Hind Street Pharmacy. Experience the hometown difference. Exciting things are coming soon to Republic Animal Hospital, a second veterinarian, a larger space, and pet urgent care. Medical, dental, surgical, and more on the way. Visit them at 574 East Harrison. Call 732-6800 or check republicanimalhospital.com. Bottom of the seventh inning, Republic and Willard tied at one, and it's Garrett Lester, the leadoff hitter for Republic, who comes to the plate. Lester grounded out to third in the first inning, hit into a fielder's choice in the second, walked and was stranded in the fifth. And he faces Kalen Adams. And the first pitch is called a strike. That one bounces up there. One and one. Adams is struck out two in one and two thirds innings, and Lester leans away from one, two and one. Missed three and one. 
Adam says retired every batter that he's faced. He's faced five batters. He allowed Woods to hit into a fielder's choice, so that's a force out. And Nation reached base, but that was a strikeout and a wild pitch that allowed Nation to get down there. Wood, uh, Lester didn't like that call. Thought he'd walked. Instead, it's a 3-2 count. Big pitch here with Lester leading off at the bottom of the seventh. Here it comes from Adams. Swing and a pop-up on the infield. Foul territory. And the catch made by the third baseman, Landon Moore, and Lester is retired. Here comes Devin Hughes. Nobody on for Tigers shortstop, Devin Hughes. Hughes one for three. And he flies it into the parking lot. 0-1 oh to Hughes. Trace Harrington on deck. Wind continues to blow in from right center field. Outside. One ball, one strike. And another one outside. Two and one. Hughes would love to get on base with Harrington and Overstreet next up in the order. Two one pitch, rounded hard to short, scooped up, throw across is in time. Grand ball left side. And Hughes is retired. Angel First two are gone in the seventh, the and it's up to the Trace Harrington if the seven. Tigers want to win it here in regulation. Tiger batter, first baseman, Trace Harrington. Trace Harrington has doubled, he's walked, and he bats here with nobody on and two out in the bottom of the seventh inning. Kalen Adams trying to force extra innings here. First pitch to Harrington is outside, ball one. And ball two. They are being pretty careful with Harrington. They intentionally walked him his last time up. Tigers had the bases loaded and one out in the fifth and failed to score. And that's been a big key in this one. And there's a line drive into center. Coming on as a center fielder and he dropped it. Off his glove and Harrington reaches on the error. Trace Harrington aborted first base. That was lining up to be what looked like an easy play for Peyton Gayer but it just went off his glove. And Harrington is at first base with two outs and Jackson Overstreet coming to the plate. Tiger batter, one on, two outs. Right fielder, Jackson Overstreet. Two walks today for Overstreet. He takes one on the outside corner. 0-1. Harrington over there at first is the winning run. Outfield continues to play pretty shallow, and that one's way outside, one and one. Overstreet could easily get in the gap the way the outfielders are positioned now. It's so whether he can get it in the gap far enough for Harrington to score all the way from first base. Outside, ball two. Wyatt Woods 
Waits on deck. Republic scored one in the second. Willard scored one in the fifth. And that's it for scoring today. Outside, it gets away. Down to second base goes Trace Harrington on the wild pitch. And now the winning run is in Harrington scoring position after the error by the center fielder and the wild pitch by Adams and a base hit by Overstreet could win it for Republic. Not sure there's anybody the Tigers would want up in this situation more right now than Jackson Overstreet, the way he has hit this year. Three and one to count. And he laid off of it, it's called a strike. Three and two. Woods on deck has scored the only run of the game for Republic after singling in the second inning. And Rodden Lejeune, the catcher, goes out to talk to Kalen Adams and make sure they're on the same page here. Gover Street steps back in there with a 3-2 count, and Harrington, the winning run, down at second. Bottom of the seventh inning, here's the next pitch from Adams. Outside, ball four, Overstreet walks. And there are two runners on now. That one doesn't really ball hurt boarded. much for Jackson Willard. Overstreet, Tigers are with runners at first and second. But it brings up Woods now instead of Overstreet at the plate. Harrington at second, Overstreet at first. Tiger catcher Wyatt Woods at the plate. second and runner at first and we've got another visit to the mound so they're going to talk things over and while they do I'm going to take a break Tigers have the winning run at second base in the bottom of the seventh inning and trying to get a win in their COC opener against 11 and 1 Willard we'll see how it unfolds after this timeout on Republic Tiger Sports. Any day is a great day to send flowers. Heaven Sent Flowers and Gifts has been your local florist in Republic since 1987, offering free local delivery. Call them at 732-1334 or go online to heavenssentflowers.com. Wyatt Woods comes to the plate. He could win it for Republic in the bottom of the seventh inning. Trace Harrington at second. Jackson Overstreet at first. Overstreet doesn't really matter except that he does allow a force out to be in effect if it's a ground ball by Woods. Woods scored the only run for the Tigers earlier in the game. Here's the first pitch to him, and he swings and pops it up. Into shallow center. The second baseman range is back. The center fielder comes in. He makes the catch. catch made by and the Willard fielder. gets out of trouble after Republic three. put two runners on in the seventh. We go to extra innings, all tied up at one. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger seven, Sports. No runs, no hits, a walk, one Willard air, and two men left on base. Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit, and we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day.
Vision Health Eye Center. Outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealtheyecenter.com. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Middle one-third for Willard here in the top of the eighth inning. Leading off, designated hitter, Levi Hilton. Extra innings, Cannon Ellison back out on the mound after finishing up in the seventh. And the first pitch is a fastball high. Ball one to Levi Hilton. Hilton is the cleanup hitter for Willard, the de designated hitter. He's 0 for 2 with a walk in this one. And he takes a strike on the outside corner. One ball, one strike. Ellison came in with two outs in the seventh inning and a runner at first base. He walked a hitter and then got the out. And there's a grounder to Hughes. Throws across to Harrington. Short, Hughes, to one Harrington, retired one. in the top of the eighth. And Hayden Rakestraw will bat next. Rakestraw is 0 for 3. Fuller batter left fielder Hayden Rakestraw. Swing and a hard hit ball to center field, but right at Lester. Comes in a couple of steps, First makes the play. Ball, center field. You're at Lester there for out number two. A one pitch out by Ellison. Retires Rakestraw, and there are two quick outs here in the eighth as Cade Heider comes to the plate. Two He's been on base on twice, both by Kate walk, Heider. and Ellison trying to complete a 1-2-3 inning. And the first pitch is a strike to Heider. There's only been one inning with three up, three down, not counting double plays. And there's a grounder. Ground ball to Hughes. Hand he hand makes, hand makes hand the catch, the makes the throw, goes in order. gets the out, and that ends the inning. And that's the, the first one, eight. two, three, three up, three down inning since Good the top of the first when Cade White Cannon did Ellison. it. We go to the bottom of the eighth. The Tigers will try to win it in extra. We'll Back with more eighth. after no this. You're watching hits. Tiger Baseball no on Republic Nobody's Tiger Sports. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Score remains. Your Republic Tigers won. The Willard Here's a touchdown for your family budget. Combine your home and auto insurance and save money with State Farm agent Sarah Rader. Find her online at sarahrader.com. This is Vanessa at Beauty and Wellness Co. At Beauty and Wellness, we are all about Retmo Spirit. And we're also about helping you optimize your internal wellness and enhance your external beauty. Whether you're looking to age gracefully or just looking for a boost of energy to help you refuel and recover, we are the place to go. Visit our spot at Highway 174 and Main Street. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Beauty Plus Wellness CO or call us at 417-590-8200. Have a beautiful day. Vision Health Eye Center, outstanding eye care, exceptional eyewear. 
From prescriptions to emergency care, they help your family see and feel better than ever before. Visit visionhealthicenter.com. Kalen Adams back out on the mound for Willard. Bottom of the eighth inning, Brett Hendrickson, Cooper Pilkington, Carter Nation due up for the Tigers. Hendrickson has walked and struck out twice, and he takes the ball 1-0. and Missed two balls, one strike to Hendrickson. Hendrickson walked in the second, made it as far as third base before he was stranded, and he fouls it back out of play. That evens the count, two and two. Kalen Adams has been good since coming in in relief of Cameron Jennings. And Hendrickson got a piece of it to stay alive. Jennings pitched well. He pitched four and a third innings, allowed only one run and four hits, and that one's high to Hendrickson. He's worked the count full three and two, trying to reach base to lead off here in the eighth. And up high, he had to duck under it. That's a leadoff walk to Hendrickson. Leadoff walk for Brett He's Hendrickson. on base for the second time, and he's down at first base with nobody out for Cooper Pilkington. Now many for your Tigers, third baseman, Cooper Pilkington. Pilkington, one for two with a sacrifice. Hendrickson takes a lead at first. Adams gets the side, delivers. It's a ball. And the third baseman is way in, expecting a bunt from Pilkington. Pilkington showed no signs of it, and so Scott McGee tells his third baseman, Landon Moore, to back up a little. He's still sneaking in over there. Pilkington doesn't look like he's expecting to bunt. 2-0. Unless Kurt Plotner switches things up with the sign here, I would say that Landon Moore is probably better off being back. And he backs up toward the edge of the grass. Now he's back. And that one's inside. Ball three to, Pil uh, to Pilkington. Carter Nation is on deck for the Tigers. Bottom of the eighth, tied at one. Ball four. He walked him on four pitches. And the first two batters have reached here in the bottom of the eighth inning. At second, Pilkington at first. First two aboard here in the bottom of the eighth. We're going to get a visit to the mound and. Maybe a pitching change. Kalen Adams has been in here since the fifth inning. He did great work in the fifth, came in with the bases loaded and only one out, and he got out of the jam with a comebacker that resulted in a force out at home plate and then a strikeout of Hendrickson to get out of trouble. Doesn't look like they're going to change up the pitcher. It looks like Adams is in there finish out at least the inning one way or the other. We'll see. Hendrickson at second base is the winning run for the Tigers, looking for their sixth win in a row. And Adam 
Adams is sticking around. Tiger batter designated hitter Carter Nation. Willard's only loss was its last game against Liberty, two to one. They started the season with 11 straight wins. And now in danger of losing their second straight as Nation bats in the eighth inning with runners on first and second. Nobody out. First pitch to him is on the outside corner with a breaking pitch. Strike one. Nation has struck out three times today. Last time he reached after the strikeout on a wild pitch. And he grounds it to second. A scoop to short for one. Throw over to first for two. And the double play, 4-6-3. Hendrickson saved at third with two outs. Hendrickson moves up to third, and it's up to Ryder Davis. That is the third double play turned by Willard so far. Tiger batter winning runner at third base for second baseman Ryder Davis. So Ryder Davis bats. Out of the windup, Adams. Outside, ball one. Davis walked in the second. He hit into a double play back in the sixth. Takes a strike. Adams has thrown a couple of wild pitches. And that would be costly here. Curveball, and Davis leaned back from it. And Davis is behind on the count, one and two. Adams trying to send us to the ninth. And a curveball got him. Davis knew it. Nods his head, walks away, and the inning is over. Adams walked the first two, got a double play, struck out Davis, and the Tigers failed to score. They had the winning run at third, couldn't push it across, and we go to the ninth. Tied a one. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. For 30-plus years, Yokum Automotive has been Republic's trusted repair shop. Now with digital inspections, understand your car's needs before they make repairs. Book an appointment at yokumautomotive.com. Elliot Robinson & Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants, is Republic's local full-service accounting firm, serving as your trusted business advisors. And they're making possible our By the Numbers feature, where we look at stats that catch our eye on the Republic sports scene. Elliot Robinson & Company, conveniently located in the Wildwood Plaza, across from Pinnegar Chevrolet, or find them online at ERCPA.com. For nearly 50 years, Southern Sun Electric has been helping to build Republic and the Ozarks. For dependable commercial and industrial construction and service, choose Southern Sun Electric, a longtime supporter of Republic students. Find them online at southernsunelectric.com. When you need a plumber, you usually need one fast, but you also want one who'll do the job right. In Republic, that's far better plumbing. Whether it's residential, commercial, or you need excavation, call Far Better and let them take away the stress of your plumbing problem. Call them at 864-8703 or find them online at farbetterplumbing.com. Top of the ninth inning. Top of the ninth the inning, and it's Drew Quinlan, Peyton Gayer, and Colin Sparing due up for Willard, the seven, eight, and nine hitters in the order. Facing Cannon Ellison. Ellison has worked one and a third innings. Allowed only one base runner. That was a walk. His very first batter. He's retired four in a row. Drew Quinlan. 0 and 1 count. And a line drive back up the middle. It's past Hughes into center field. The leadoff hit by Drew Quinlan. That's his second hit. For Quinlan. And Quinlan's at first base. 
as Gayer comes to the plate. Peyton Gayer is 0 for 3. And at first, nobody out. Center fielder Peyton Gayer at the plate. Gayer tried to bunt it, fouled it off. 0 and 1. Again, he shows bunt, again, he fouls it off, 0 oh and 2. So Ellison has an 0-2 count on Peyton Gayer, trying to retire him for the fourth time today. And a bunt, a foul, that's a strikeout. They kept the bunt on, Gayer and Gayer wasn't able to get it down. Went after a ball, and it was foul. That's a strikeout. One away. First strikeout first for, for Ellison. Right fielder, Colin Spearing. And it brings in Colin Spearing. Quinlan at first, one out. He takes off. The bunt is down the first baseline. It's pushed foul. And that's four straight foul balls on bunt attempts by Willard. I think I know what they're going to be doing at practice next week. 0 and 1. The runner Quinlan was going last time. Let's see if he does it again. Dances off first base. He's not going. That's a bunt out in front. Ellison gets it and throws it over the head of Harrington. Down toward the corner. And that may score a run. Overstreet grabs it. We could have a play at the plate. Nope. The run scores on the air. And all the way to third. Goes Colin Spearing. Spearing at third. So the error on the throw by Ellison allows Quinlan to come in to score, and Willard takes the lead for the first time, two to one. Willard batter, third baseman, Landon Moore. Swing and a foul out of play. A swing and a grounder or a line drive caught on the play by Pilkington. And, the more more line drive and it's a double third. play on the line out. Tiger third baseman Cooper Pilkington doubles up spearing at third base for the out. Take a look at that whole thing again. Pilkington playing in on the grass and he dove and made the play and doubles up the runner and the Tigers catch a break. But Willard scores a run. Willard takes a 2-1 lead as we head to the seventh on the single and the throwing error. Quinlan came around to score, the and Will they lead it 2-1 to one one as we go to the one bottom hit, of the ninth. One Republic air. Tigers will try to respond. It will be Nobody the top of the order base. due up. Lester Hughes and Harrington trailing 2-1 now. Two, one now. Two, your Republic Tigers one. Back with more after this on Republic Tiger Sports. 
Get your Rocco's Pizza hot and ready for to-go orders at RoccosItalianKitchen.net or pick up a slice at the game because Rocco's is a proud supporter of Republic Athletics and the Booster Club's concession stands. Rocco's, pizza, pasta, perfection, and tiger spirit. Experience matters in real estate. With Lori and Elizabeth, you get specialists in residential, land, lake, and commercial sales from Springfield to Joplin to the lake. Your ultimate connection to lenders, marketers, and contractors. Visit com. your seasoned real estate teammates. Choose locally owned Central Gas Propane for unmatched service. They go the extra mile for your needs. Call 417-725-3833 or visit centralgasmo.com to switch and save today. Tigers haven't trailed all day until now. 2-1, and Lester grounds it to first. It eats up the first baseman, and it's going to be an out. They recovered in time to get the out at first. And with the speed of Lester, that was a fine play. Off the glove of Drew Quinlan, pitcher covering. 4-1 on the put out for the first out of the inning. Great recovery. Now batting for Republic. Shortstop, Devin Hughes. And Devin Hughes bats. First pitch is the ball. Hughes one for four. And a foul back out of play. One ball, one strike. Hughes struck out in the first inning, singled, and was erased in a double play in the third. Popped up to short in the fifth, grounded out to short in the seventh, and now batting in the ninth with Republic trailing two to one. Two balls, one strike to count to Devin Hughes. Harrington on deck. Republic scored a run in the second. Willard tied it in the fifth, took the lead in the ninth, and there's a grounder up the third baseline foul. Two and two. Right now, the unearned run in the top of the ninth is the difference. Republic trying to recover from that. And a fly ball into shallow center. Coming in hard as the center fielder reaches up, and makes the grab, and the Tigers down to their last out. Peyton Gaynor for out number two. outs and nobody on for Tiger first baseman Trace Harrington Harrington doubled in the first he walked in the fifth and he bats with two outs and nobody on and Republic trailing two to one in the bottom of the ninth inning Kalen Adams trying to finish things off for Willard, and he throws a wild, oh. They, I don't know if that was a foul tip. Well, he said he swung, but I don't think he swung. <laughs> that was a tough call on Trace Harrington, 0-1. That one way outside. One ball, one strike. Next one from Adams. Popped up. 
Right side of the infield. Playable on the line in foul territory, and that's an out. And that ends the game. Willard comes from behind to beat Republic two to one in extra innings. And they Final hand the Republic Seeding its first loss in six games. Willard two on the final. Two, Tigers won. And that's going to do it nice for the broadcast. For Willard, Winning pitcher Kalen Adams, the loser Republic Cannon one Ellison. And one error. Tigers fall to two runs, seven, four hits, one error season. for Willard. Republic one, one run. Play. Four hits, Willard one error. One a nine-inning game, no only COC eight play. hits total. Great pitching today Except between a couple of good teams. And the, the Tigers, Tigers and fall to Tigers. 11 and 7. Willard is 12 and 1. That's going to do it. Willard wins it 2-1 over Republic. Thanks for watching Tiger Baseball on Republic Tiger Sports.